Hello everyone, Andrew here. And I wanna to talk to you today about the inflation numbers, the inflation numbers that we're hearing about and in my opinion, what's actually happened. And what triggered this video was, um, I budget for my family about $200 a week for groceries. And I've had that budget for, for quite a while. I'd been doing $200 a week for groceries. And I started noticing that I started needing more than $200 a week for groceries. All of a sudden, I was uh, most recently figuring out that I was paying about $275 a week for groceries. And I keep hearing that inflation, you know, they said last month inflation ran at 13% and food inflation ran at 11% year over year. And I started thinking in my head, well, you know, if inflation was at 11% year over year, if I was spending $200 a week last year at this time for groceries, then I would be spending about $220 this year for groceries. And okay, I'm okay with that. That's not that big of a deal. Another 20 bucks in, in a year's time for groceries per week. But I was realizing that I was spending closer to $275 a week. I noticed that I had bought in coffee and I don't drink a lot of coffee. I just buy instant coffee. And I was buying a container of instant coffee it was $6 and 50 cents. And all of a sudden I noticed it was $9 and 50 cents. And like, well, that is almost a 50% increase. That's not 11%. And I started noticing across the board, but that everything was a lot more than 11%. I thought, well, is this just me? You know? And I, so I looked it up and again, the labor of department of labor's Bureau of labor statistics says we're running 11% inflation year over year. And I happened to, um, I save receipts for some reason. I have a business and I have business expenses. So I just save all my receipts. And I happened to save one of my receipts. It was from a year ago from a very large grocery grocery chain. I always go to one of the largest grocery chains because they tend to have the, the best prices. So I started looking at this receipt from one year ago from the grocery store that I go to. And what I did was I went on their website. So I was comparing the same thing, the same store, the same items and try to buy, I always buy the same brand as well. I'm very set in my ways. I'm always going to buy the same brand. So I'm not going to talk about the brand names here specifically today because I don't want to go into too much detail because a lot of this is really my own personal experiences here. And what I want to find out is are other people having the same experience? Because what I did was I looked at the prices I paid a year ago. And what I did was there's a lot of items on this receipt, but I only went for the items that were not on sale. So if I bought something that was on sale. I didn't go and look at the price of it today being not on sale and say, look how much it's gone up. I just, for example, bought butter at its regular price. Last year, butter was, was three ninety nine, dollars um, And this year, butter was $5.89. So that's actually a 67% increase and people, okay, oh, well, certain things are going up. So certain items are going up more than others. And I thought, well, okay, maybe that's true, but that was a 67% increase just in butter, just a regular name brand butter that I buy every time gone up 67%. So then I bought the same type of looked online at their price for the same type of milk that I always buy. And that had gone up uh, from 235 to 319. So that had gone up 73%. And I went to chicken breast. One pound of chicken breast had gone from 369 to 649. That was a 75% increase. One of the uh, sports drinks that I buy that was last year, everyday price, and for the longest time it had been this price, was 99 cents. Not only was it now $1.49, but it had gone from a 32 ounce bottle to a 28 ounce bottle. So there's also shrinkflation involved in that. Um, so that had gone up in price by 50%. And gone down by four ounces in the amount that you were getting for it. And so I was like, wow, this is really, there's kind of something to this. So I looked up more of the items and just everyday items that I buy, same brand. I'm going to just go over what it was. Stuffing had gone up 35%. Yogurt had gone up 16%. Bologna had gone up 20%. Bread had gone up 35%. Um, bottled water had gone up 25%. So I looked at that and those 10 particular items Last year when I bought them, just if I went to them 10 items, which are just random store items, they're not specific items, but they're everyday items that probably everybody is buying. Last year, the cost of them was $21.77. This year, the price to buy them same 10 items was $30.51. That's a 40% increase. So I don't know where they're getting this 11% inflation number from. And I think everybody, if you look at what you're paying for, at the store in prices, 
it's gone up a lot more than 11%. These are just items that I picked at random. Then I went back through on the list and I couldn't find anything on here that had gone up only 11%. Every single thing on this list had gone up by more than 11%. And again, I didn't compare, like I bought a lot of stuff that's on sale. When it's on sale, I'll stock up on it. So I didn't check those ones at all, what those prices were today compared to what the sale prices were. But everything that was just as regular price that I'd be buying every time I go to the store had gone up significantly. Overall, they'd gone up 40%. And that made sense when you go back to the beginning when I said, I'd been spending about $200 a week on groceries, and now I seem to be spending about $275 a week on groceries. Well, at 40%, I'd be spending $280. So that's what's happened here for me. And again, I go to a large grocery chain that has, in my opinion, the best prices in the area. So that's where I try to do my most of my main shopping at. I know you could say, well, if you're going to other stores, some stores have gone up more or less than other ones, but this is just an average one. I think it's pretty common. Um, I live in a mid-size area, so I'm not in a huge area, not in a rural area, but a mid-size area, really what I call mid-America, so I think prices are all the same. If you find this information helpful, it would help me a lot if you would like and subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. We do a lot of information on the economy and on inflation and housing market. I, I mostly... Um, work on the housing market because I'm a real estate agent and I'm seeing how the C economy is affecting the housing market. It's been just devastating. So you can see some of my other videos to see what's happening with the housing market. But if you like the content, again, please like and subscribe. And in the comments down below, tell me if you agree or disagree. Because again, we're being told that inflation's at 11%. And it just seems like everything I'm buying is a lot more than 11%. I couldn't find anything that was only 11% higher. Everything was, again, between 30 and 75% higher. And the overall average of what I was buying was 40% higher. So let me see if, tell me if you're seeing the same thing on your grocery bills, because I think someone's not telling us the truth on what's really happening with inflation. But as I all say, you know, we're all going to have to get through this together. So let's just do the best we can. Thank you. Bye now.